hello welcome back so it looks like the response time for browse lesson is higher than all those other elements and we like uh, and all other other transactions and we like to know why this thing happening okay so given that we have enough data so let's try to figure out what is really going on you know uh, that that might contributing to the higher response time for the uh, for the browse lesson and if you if, if you go here to the CPU utilization and in fact the CPU utilizations remain almost same right it's not like you know CPU is at some point of time it's higher and, and, and so on okay so therefore we cannot really attribute the higher response time for the browse lesson for this thing and similarly like just by looking at various resources I went to the throughput okay and in throughput I'm going to I'm getting all this you know throughput for the whole system and if you select this thing and then right click and then you can drill down so whenever you're going to drill down then it will ask you you know how do you drill down right so basically like you know this is a controller and if you see that we have when we are running we are running in multiple groups right this is the group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 group 5 and I like to know the throughput that is contributed by each of the scripts okay because this whatever I'm seeing here the throughput of overall system okay by drilling down and if I make the group by to script name okay and then looks like the browse lesson okay so this is a browse lesson script this is contributing to the most of the bytes per second okay so the throughput okay the average throughput per browse lesson is 523 whereas glossary is just only 12 MB okay so if this is the case then naturally to download 523 MB it will take more time compared to something 12916 okay and then what you can do you need to figure out why you are downloading so much so notice that in the browse lesson whenever you're going to browsing to lesson and we are going to a chapter let's say you go to a book and this is what the browse lesson does right and in the browse lesson we are in fact getting a huge amount of data from Wikipedia okay so like you know for example all these images are being you know downloaded in runtime and that is why like you know it makes it says why the the you know the response time is more for browse lesson and that is also important because you know I could have I could have option you know whenever I created the uh, you know whenever I have the, the data for whenever I set it set it up the test environment you now in, instead of having a elaborately you know you know re realistic amount of data if I just can just give only two string with test Moodle then you would not have seen these kind of issues so that is why it is always essential to make sure that what kind of things going to happen in the real life we should have emulate those things in our test environment right and so that is the reason why the the browse lesson is taking so much time there are multiple ways to solve like you know you might cast this thing in browser right and and you know and also like if it is really you know you know such a huge amount of data then instead of showing them in in one page what you can do you can you can load this thing incrementally okay so those are the those are the architectural decision for the product but thing is that as a performance engineer if you can give this report back to the developer that this is what is happening then they can take preventive actions so this is how you see here in a toy example how do you how do you pinpoint the performance issues so here we did it for the browse lesson transaction thank you